not for Sweden's silent assassin. Imagine this. You're told to build a fighter jet. It has to be one of the best in the world. It must be invisible to enemies, faster than a speeding bullet, and smarter than a supercomputer. But there's a catch. You have to do it with a fraction of the money that the big boys have. Most people would say, that's impossible. They'd laugh, shake their heads, and walk away. But in Sweden, they don't walk away. They just smile, roll up their sleeves, and build something extraordinary. They build the Gripen E. It's a machine that takes the word impossible and tears it into tiny little pieces. They call it the Silent Assassin. It suggests a predator, something that hunts without being seen or heard. It finds its target, does its job with deadly precision, and then vanishes back into the shadows before anyone even knew it was there. When you think of Sweden, what comes to mind? Probably sensible cars, amazing meatballs, and perhaps the frustration of trying to build a bookshelf with a tiny Allen key. But there's another side to Sweden. A side that is incredibly high-tech, fiercely independent, and astonishingly good at building military hardware. For centuries, Sweden has had to be clever to survive. This has bred a unique culture of innovation. They can't afford to waste a single screw or a single kroner. This isn't a new thing either. Think of the Draken, with its futuristic double delta wing, or the Vegan, a beast that could land on a motorway. This history, this legacy of smart, practical, and tough design, flows directly into the veins of the Gripen E. Let's pop the bonnet and have a look at what makes this thing tick. The Gripen E is packed with some seriously futuristic technology. First up, let's talk about stealth. Now, it's not a full-on stealth fighter like the American F-22 or F-35. Instead, it's what you might call smart stealthy. It has a very small radar cross-section, meaning it's already hard to spot. The Gripen E's brain is a revolutionary new radar called the Raven ES-05. It's an AESA radar, which is top-of-the-line stuff. But here's the clever bit. It's mounted on a swash plate, a bit like the rotor on a helicopter. This means the pilot can lock onto a target and then turn the jet away, all while keeping the radar pointed at the enemy. A silent assassin needs its blades, and the Gripen E has plenty. The Meteor missile is a game-changer in itself. It's powered by a ramjet, meaning it can maintain its speed all the way to the target. Finally, there's its adaptability. The Gripen E was designed from the ground up to be easy to upgrade. Its computer systems are built like a smartphone. Stories from military exercises are where legends are born. In one such exercise, the older Gripen C model was flying as the bad guy or aggressor. Its job was to simulate an enemy force. The good guys were flying some of the most famous and powerful jets in the world, including the Eurofighter Typhoon. But the Gripen pilots used their jet's unique strengths. They used its small size and advanced electronic warfare systems to get in close without being detected. The results were, to put it mildly, a bit of a shock. They were popping up where they weren't expected, firing their simulated missiles, and then disappearing. It wasn't about raw power, it was about superior tactics and situational awareness, enabled by the Gripen's design. So, how on earth did Sweden do it? The answer is simple. They were clever. This means using existing, proven technology wherever possible. The Gripen E is a single-engine jet. That immediately makes it cheaper to build, cheaper to fly, and cheaper to maintain. Sweden also pioneered a new way of working with its suppliers. The engine comes from America. The radar was co-developed with the UK. Saab acted as the master architect, choosing the best available bricks to build their house. It's a collaborative approach that is both cost-effective and, honestly, pretty brilliant. Alright, let's put the Gripen E in the ring with some of the other heavyweights. First, let's look at the American F-35 Lightning II. The F-35 is the king of stealth, but it comes with a gigantic price tag. Next up, the French Dassault Rafale. The Rafale is a beautiful, powerful twin-engine fighter, known for its power and ability to carry a heavy load. Think of it like a boxing match. The Rafale is the heavyweight brawler with a knockout punch. The Gripen E is the nimble middleweight, faster on its feet, harder to hit. Then there's the Eurofighter Typhoon. Its raw performance is, well, just breathtaking. The Gripen E, however, is the smart choice. It offers a massive chunk of the capability of the big boys, but for a fraction of the cost. Most modern fighter jets are like thoroughbred racehorses. They are delicate, sensitive, and need pristine, long runways. The Gripen E is not like that at all. 
It's more like a rugged, go-anywhere Land Rover. The Gripen E can take off and land on short, straight sections of ordinary public roads. In Sweden, they have designed parts of their motorway system to double as emergency airfields. In less than 10 minutes, a small team can refuel, rearm, and check over the entire aircraft. The pilot doesn't even have to get out. This is called a turnaround, and the Gripen's turnaround time is faster than almost any other fighter jet on Earth. This means that in a conflict, you can't knock out the Swedish Air Force by bombing a few main air bases. The Gripen's would simply disperse, hiding in forests and operating from secret stretches of road. It can pop up where it's least expected, strike, and then vanish again. It's a distributed, resilient, and unpredictable weapon system. So what does the Gripen E tell us about the future of air combat? It tells us that the game is changing. The future belongs to the aircraft that is the most connected, the most adaptable, and the most intelligent. The Gripen E is a flying node in a vast web of information. Thanks to advanced data links, they can see what every other Gripen in the area sees, giving them a godlike view of the battlefield. Because the Gripen E is designed to share information, it's a brilliant team player. It can seamlessly integrate with forces from other nations, making the entire Allied force stronger. Ultimately, the Gripen E matters because it proves that innovation isn't just about spending more money, it's about thinking differently. Sweden, with its limited resources but limitless ingenuity, has created a machine that challenges the status quo. The silent assassin is more than just a fighter jet. It's a statement. It declares that the future of air power will be defined not by brute strength, but by intelligence. And in the complex and unpredictable world of modern warfare, being the smartest one in the room is the ultimate game changer. The Gripen E isn't just another warplane. It's built for the future lightweight, agile, and packed with more brains than brawn. Its advanced radar scans further and faster than most rivals, tracking threats long before they even know the Gripen's on the scene. And when it comes to stealth, while some jets rely on expensive coatings, the Gripen E uses smart design and electronic warfare tricks to slip past enemy eyes, kind of like a digital ninja. But I think what really blows my mind is how this jet can adapt on the fly. Picture this, you're up against a new missile, something nobody's seen before. With most jets, you'd be grounded for weeks waiting for upgrades. With the Gripen E, software updates happen in hours. It's like your smartphone, but with afterburners and missiles. Now let's talk about teamwork. The Gripen E isn't some lone wolf. It talks to drones, other jets, even ground units sharing data in real time. Imagine a whole digital wolf pack moving as one. And get this, despite all its tech, the Gripen E is surprisingly affordable. While other jets burn through money, this one's designed to be easy to maintain, quick to turn around, and ready to launch at a moment's notice. That's why smaller countries are lining up for it. They get top-tier power without bankrupting their budgets. Let's not forget the pilot. Cockpit controls are intuitive, almost like playing a high-stakes video game. Every button is where it needs to be, so pilots can focus on the mission not fiddling with switches. Here's the thing. The grip and ease not about showing off brute force. It's a silent assassin striking fast, staying hidden and leaving enemies wondering what just happened. So the next time someone says impossible, remember the grip and E, because in Sweden, impossible isn't a word. It's just the start of the next great idea. Thanks for watching. If you want more stories about the world's most awe-inspiring tech, hit that subscribe button. Until next time, stay curious.